Hello everyone, today in this video I am going to deal with the 7th chapter of Honeysuckle of class 6th. The title of the story is Fair Play written by Prem Chand. This story is about two friends and their friendship. Both of them were quite close to each other and their friendship were well known to each and every one of their villages. But due to change in circumstances, both of them grew hostile to each other, they, they hated each other, but by the end of the story, we will see that both of them again became French as they were earlier, as there were certain misunderstanding that was sorted out. So let's see in this story that how both of them from a friend became an enemy and again became a friend. So let's move to the story. Juman Sekh and Algu Chaudhary were good friends. So strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village, the other looked after his family. Both were greatly respected in the village. So in, the, in this first paragraph, we are introduced to the two central characters of this story that is Juman Sekh and Algu Chaudhary. Both of them were very good friends. They were very close to each other and the bond of their friendship was quite strong and both of them were even responsible. Both of them even used to take care of members of the family of each other. Here the word looked after has been used. Looked after it means they used to take care of the members of the family of each other whenever one of the two were absent, one of the two were not present in the village. And both of them were greatly respectable, it means people give a lot of respect to both of them, that is to Juman Sekh and to Algu Chaudhary, it means he was a respectable person in the village. Juman had an old aunt who had some property. This she transferred to him on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her. The arrangement worked well for a couple of years. Then the situation changed. Juman and his family were tired of old relate. Juman became as indifferent to her as his wife, who crushed even the little foot that the old lady wanted every day. She swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months, but patience has its limit. So here in this second paragraph it has been said that Juman Sikh, Juman Sikh, see, sorry, Juman Sikh, he has an old aunt and she owns certain property, she had some property in her name. Then what she did, as she was all alone in this world, therefore what she did, she transferred, she gave all her property to Juman Sikh. But there was a condition that she will give him her all property and in return Juman will have to take care of that lady till she is alive. So what happened? This condition, this agreement worked for a couple of years. Couple of years it means here it means that for few years. Couple means two. So for two or three years it went quite good. Both of them agreed to it and they accepted everything and everything was going well. So what happened after two after two years Juman as well as his wife and other members of his family both all of them were tired of old relative it means they were fed up. Now they don't want to keep that old aunt his old aunt with him and that's why all of them all of them became indif indifferent. What does indifferent means? It means that lost interest in or did not care for. So earlier when, there, when the agreement was signed, all of them, Jumman as well as the other members of his family, all of them took interest in that old lady. They cared for her. 
they used to take care of the old lady they used to provide food and every things to that old lady but now with the passage of time all of them lost their interest and now they were not taking care and now even she was not provided she was not being provided a limit little amount of food which she used to eat every day now her wife juman's wife she used to grudge here the word grudge had been used it means gave unwillingly felt angry unhappy about giving so she did not even want to give a little amount of food to that old aunt and she used to insult a lot she used to say many odd things to that old lady she used to insult her but the old lady as she was left with no option she has already transferred her all property to jumans and therefore she was left with no option so what she did she continued to swallow these insults swallowed this ins ins insult it means she tolerated it she did not raise voice against the injustice which was being done to her by juman's family she tolerated all the things whatever insult whatever bad words whatever or things was said to her she used to tolerate all those things she never raised her voice she never said anything so and now even she was being not even provided proper food here it is being said along with her foot so she used to juman's wife she used to insult her a lot and now she has to consume both that is the little amount of food as well as the insult which she used to get from juman's wife so she tolerated it for few months but after few months she was not able to tolerate all those insult which she got in return from juman's wife as well as from the other members of the family so her patience broke she was not able to control herself so now see what she did now one day she spoke to juman my son it is now obvious that i am not wanted in your house kindly give me a monthly allowance so that i can set up a separate kitchen my wife knows best how to run the house be patient said juman simply this made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat so what happened the old aunt now she thought that enough is enough she has heard enough against herself now she was not able to control herself and therefore what she did one day she said it to juman what she said she said to juman that i think that now you don't want to take care of me you as well as your wife and the other members of family they don't want me in your house and therefore i am being insulted time and again by your wife as well as the other members of the family so i don't want to live in this house it will be better that you will give me a monthly allowance what does monthly allowance means over here it means some money so that she can set up her separate kitchen now she thought that she would she may get some money some monthly allowance and with the help of that money which she will get from juman she will set her separate kitchen she will cook herself for herself then as a result as a reply sorry not as a result as a reply juman said to her that my wife she know how to run house so be patient no need to ask for money no need to ask for monthly allowance and no need to say anything be here only and whatever she is offering you whatever facility is being provided to you try to adjust in that only now when she heard all these things when she heard word of juman she grew angry why she grew angry because the thing is she was not able she was not provided with the basic facilities even she was not provided with the food proper food and 
when she has asked for the money for the monthly allowance so that she can set up a separate kitchen even then he is not willing to give her a monthly allowance so is not willing to provide her proper food as well as other facilities and at the same time he is not even willing to give her give her a monthly allowance and therefore this old lady she became angry and she thought that she will take this case to the village panchayat so let's see what happened then for many days the old lady was seen talking to the villager explaining her case and seeking their support some some sympathized with her other others laughed at her and a few other advised her to make it up with her nephew and his wife at last she came to algu chaudhary and spoke to him you know chachi juman is my best friend how can i go against him algu said but is it right my son to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair pleaded the old lady come to the panchayat and speak the truth she said algu did not reply but her words kept ringing in his ears so here this paragraph make it up has been used make it up it means stop quarreling come to an agreement with and mum it means to be quiet or silent so what happened after that she went to meet various people of that village old aunt she spoke to many villagers she spoke to many people of that village she explained her situation she explained each and everything to each and every person some of them they saw their sympathy to her some laughed at her condition and some said that instead of taking this matter to the court try to make it up it means to make an agreement sort out this problem at your home only speak to your nephew speak to his wife and everything will be again back to normal so no one agreed no one was in her support she went to many people no one supported her everyone gave her some or other advices so at last where she went she went to algu chaudhary now who is algu chaudhary he is the best friend of juman saik so she went to algu chaudhary she narrated her ordeal her suffering her problem to algu chaudhary but he said to the old lady that aunt you know very well that juman is my best friend and therefore i can't go against him then she said to algu chaudhary that i know that he is your best friend but do you think it is good to keep silent to not to raise voice against the injustice i think no doubt you are his friend but truth and justice is above every relation so she said this and she left that place she left her house and she said at the end that i hope that you will come to the panchayat and speak truth because truth is above everything the panchayat was held the same evening under an old banyan tree juman stood up and said the voice of panch the voice of god let my aunt nominate the head head panch i will abide by her decision here the word nominate has been used nominate it means propose suggest someone's name for something abide by abide by it means accept so same evening what happened the panchayat was held people of the village came to hear her plead hear the old aunt plead and to sort out the matter so what happened everyone has gathered you can see in this picture that this is a old banyan tree and under this banyan tree you can see the many villagers has gathered so what happened this man juman he stood up and he said that voice of punch is the voice of god it means whatever the punch will decide that will be above everything it will be equivalent to the voice of god and he said that i asked my aunt 
to nominate the head punch it means to propose the name of anyone any villagers as the head punch and then he said that whatever decision will be announced today here in this panchayat i will abide by it means i will accept the decision of the head punch or of this panchayat the punch knows neither friend nor enemy what do you say to algu chaudhary the old aunt announced fine replied juman hiding his joy over this unexpected piece of luck chachi you are aware of my friendship with juman said algu i know that replied the aunt but i also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship god lives in the heart of the punch and his voice is the voice of god and the old lady explained her case juman said algu you and i are old friends your aunt is as dear to me as you now i am a punch you and your aunt are equal before me what have you to say in your defense so finally when juman when juman asked her aunt to appoint to nominate or sub, to propose the name of anyone as a head punch then that old aunt she announced the name of algu chaudhary as a head punch so when she announced the name of algu chaudhary juman he became very happy why he became very happy because he knew that algu was his friend and he knew that he will never give any decision against him as he was his best friend so he became happy but at the same time it was a problematic situation it was a problematic situation for algu chaudhary why it was a problematic situation because he had to give a decision he had to support truth not to his friendship and then he pleaded he requested to the old aunt that aunt you know that i am very good friend of juman you know that we we are friend so it will be better to appoint someone else as a head punch but what she said that no you will be the head punch i know that she said that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship what does it means she says she said that i know that both of you are very good friend but after all you are a human being and as you will be a head punch you can't kill your conscience conscience it means the inner voice whatever is truth you will support that i know that you will not kill you will not be injustice or you can't give any decision on the basis of your friendship but you will support the truth i know that and then she said that god lives in the heart of punch and his voice is the voice of god and then after that she pursued her case she explained everything she said everything her problem she shared her problem with the punch and after that when it was finalized that only juman will be the head punch then juman said to algu that you know that both of us are quite old friends and you as well as your aunt both of you are quite dear to me it means both of you are close to me and then he said that you as well as your aunt both of you are equal to me i can't differentiate between both of you. then he asked to algu to say whatever he have to say in his defense in his support in order to save himself 3 years ago began juman my aunt transferred her property to me i promised to support her as long as she lived i have done all i could there have been a couple of quarrels between my wife and her but i cannot stop it now my aunt is claiming a monthly allowance from me this is not possible that's all i have to say so juman he said whatever he has to say in his support he said to punch to the head punch that 3 years ago an agreement 
was signed between me as well as between my old aunt and as per that agreement what happened she transferred her property to me and in return i was asked to take care of her as long as she is alive then he said that i tried my best to take care to give the best facilities and to take care of her but there had been some quarrels it means some fight between her as well as her wife and then he said that it's quite common it happens in every family and that's why i can't stop it and then he said that now aunt is asking for a monthly allowance it means money a monthly money she is asking for and then he said that this is not possible for me i can't give her a monthly allowance she will have to live with me only i but i can't give her a monthly allowance this is all what he have to say this is all what he said to the head punch as well as to the punch juman was cross examined by algu and others then algu announced we have gone into the matter carefully in our opinion juman must pay his aunt a monthly allowance or else the property goes back to her so here the word cross examined has been used it means that number of question was asked so juman he was asked a number of question by algu as well as the other punch who were there who were the member of that panchayat they asked number of question to juman and after that they came they come to the conclusion that juman will have to pay a monthly allowance to the old aunt or if he will not pay that monthly allowance then in that case he will have to return back her property to the old aunt now the two friends were seldom seen together the bond of friendship between them was broken in fact juman was algo's enemy and wanted his revenge here the word seldom has been used it means rarely so what happened after this decision both of them became enemy their friendship broke down they were no longer friend and juman was looking looking for an opportunity so that he can take revenge from algu so let's see what happened then days passed and as ill luck would have it algu chaudhary found himself in a tight spot one of his fine pair of bullocks died and he sold the other to some jusahu a cart driver of the village the understanding was that sahu would pay the price of the bullock in months time it so happened that the bullock died within a month so now days passed and after few days one incident in one incident occurred with algu chaudhary so what was that algu chaudhary he had a pair of bullock and after that one of the bullock died so what he did he sold the other bullock to samju sahu who was samju sahu samju sahu was a cart driver of that village so algu chaudhary he sold out his one bullock to samju sahu who was the cart driver of that village and what was the situation there was a understanding it means both of them decided that samju sahu will pay the price of that bullock in a month's time it means that after one month he will pay the price he will pay the money of that bullock to algu chaudhary but what happened within that one within that one month the bullock which was sold to samju sahu died within a month it means within a month of time that bullock died here the word tight spot has been used it means in a difficult situation so this is why algu chaudhary found himself in a difficult situation several months after the bullock death algu reminded sahu of money he had not yet paid sahu got very annoyed i can't pay you a penny for the rest beast you sold me he brought us nothing but reum i have a bullock 
Use it for a month, then return it to me. No money more for dead bullock. He said angrily. So what happened? Several months passed. After the death of that bullock, Algu Chaudhary he went to Samju Sahib and he asked for the money which he was supposed to pay to him for the bullock. So when he asked him for the money, he became very angry. Who Samju Sahib became very angry. He became annoyed and then he said that I will not pay you. I am not going to pay you a single penny. It means a single, a single coin. Why? Because he said that that bullock, it was of no good. It died very soon and it did nothing. Just it brought a ruined demon to him. And therefore he said that as I have used your bullock for a month and within a month of time it died and therefore you can take my one of my bullock and even you can use it for a month but I will not pay you the money for that bullock. And he said it in a very angry manner. So therefore now Algu Chaudhary he found himself in a very difficult situation. He has sold his bullock to Samju Sahu which died after a month and now Samju Sahu is not willing to pay him the money. Instead he said it to him that I have used your bullock for a month so even you can take my bullock and use it for a month but no money for the bullock which I bought from you. Algu decided to refer the case to the panchayat for a second time in a few months. Preparation for holding the panchayat were made and both the parties started meeting people seeking their support. The panchayat was held under the old banyan tree. Algu stood up and said, the voice of panch is the voice of God. Let Sahu nominate the head panch. I will abide by his decision. Sahu saw his chance and proposed the name of Juman. Algu's heart sank. And he turned pale. But what could he do? So what happened? Now as Samju Sahu has refused to pay money to Algu Chaudhary. And therefore what he did? He called a panchat. So here it, in this paragraph it is being said that in a few months. In a past few months. Panchat was called for the second time. So first time it was called when the old aunt has called it. So this is the second time when it is being called by Algu Chaudhary for his payment which he has not received from Samju Sao. So now Panch has assembled over the same old banyan tree where the matter of old aunt was sought. So now everyone was there and then Algu Chaudhary said that the voice of Panch is the voice of God and then he said that Samju Sahu can nominate, can propose the name of any person as a head punch and whatever decision will be made in this panchayat, I will accept it. So what he did, Samju Sahu, he was well known. He knew about the enmity, about the relationship, the sar relationship between Juman Sikh as well as of al -Guchaldi. So he took benefit of the situation. And so what he did, he nominated, he gave the name of Juman Sikh as the head punch of that panchat. So as soon as his name was announced, Algu Chaudhary's heart sank. It means he became hopeless, he became very sad. Why he became sad? Because in the previous panchat, Algu has given a decision against Juman who was his best friend and as a result he has become his enemy now and therefore his heart sank now he thought that definitely Juman is going to give decision against me and therefore he became disappointed and unhappy but let's see what happened then the moment Juman became head punch he realized his responsibility as a judge and the dignity of his office could he seated in that high place have his revenge now he thought and thought now he must not allow his personal feelings to come in the way of speaking the truth and doing justice. So 
Juman now he became the head punch. So now he was in a seat. He was in a position where he was above everyone. And he, if he want, he can take his revenge as well from Algu Chaudhary. But as soon as he became the head judge, the moment Juman became head punch, he realized his responsibility as a judge and the dignity of his office. Could he sit in that high place have his revenge now? He thought and thought. Now he must not allow his personal feeling to come in the way of speaking the truth and doing justice. So now it was finally decided that Juman will become the head punch and as soon as he became the head punch, he realized he sensed his duty. Responsibility here it means his duty as a judge. And at the same time, he realized the dignity of the office which he was holding for that time. At that moment, he was the head punch. He was in the highest position in that panchayat. And that time it came to his mind that if he want, he can take his revenge from al -Guchod. But at the same time, he thought that he should not allow his personal feeling to come in the way of speaking truth. It means he thought to himself that whatever problem he have with Algu Chaudhary, that is his personal problem and he should not allow that personal feeling to come here in this panchat. And therefore, he thought that no, I will not mix my personal feeling over here, but I will speak truth and I will just do justice. It means I will give verdict. I will give the decision in the favor of truth only. Both Algu and Sahu stated their cases. They were cross-examined and the case was considered deeply. The Juman stood and announced, It is our opinion that Sahu should pay Algu the price of Bullock. When Sahu bought the Bullock, it suffered from no disability or diseases. The death of Bullock was unfortunate, but Algu cannot be blamed for it. Algu could not contain his feelings. He stood up and said loudly, over and over again, victory to the Panchayat. This is justice. God lives in the voice of Panch. So, both of them, Algu as well as Samju Sahu, both of them were given chance to narrate their problem, to give their verdict. And after that, Panch as well as the head Panch, they cross-examined, they asked various questions and they considered the matter. They decided it among themselves and after that they came to a conclusion that at the moment when Algu Chaudhary sold his bullock to Samju Sahu, at that time that bullock was not suffering from any disease. So it died. But the death of the bullock was unfortunate one. It was something which was natural. So, so Algu Chaudhary is not to be blamed for it. And as a result, Samju Sahu will have to pay the money to al so, so as soon as Juman announced this decision, he gave this decision, al he became very happy. He was not able to control his emotion. Here the word contain his feeling. It means that he was not able to control his emotion. Because in the very beginning of this panchayat, it has been said that his heart sank. It means he thought that definitely now he is going to lose this battle. The decision will come against him. But it was not like that. It was something totally opposite to what he has thought. And therefore, he became very happy as the case was considered in a right manner. And the truth prevailed. And the decision was, the decision was given in the favor of truth only. Therefore, he became very happy and he shouted victory to Panchayat. This is justice. God lives in the voice of Panch. Soon after, Juman came to Algu, embraced him and said, Since the last Panchayat, I had become your enemy. Today, I realized what it means to be a Panch. A Panch has no friend, no enemy. He knows only justice. Let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for, for friendship or enmity. Algu embraced his friend and wept. 
and steers washed away all the dirt sorry all the dirt of misunderstanding between them here the word deviate has been used it means move away from so as soon as the decision was announced both of them juman as well as algu chaudhary both of them came toward each other both of them close to each other and then juman said to algu that since the last panchayat i became your enemy because i thought that you have given decision against me and while giving the decision you have ignored my friendship but today while i was meant to give the decision then i realized that what is how it feels to be a punch and how punch knows no friendship no enemy just only one thing that is justice that every relation justice is above every relation whether it is a friend whether it is an enemy just but the judge is supposed to favor a justice only no matter the person is friends or an enemy but a judge is the one who support truth as well as justice so when they after that both of them hugged each other embraced has been used over here embraced word has been used it means both of them hugged each other and both of them wept continuously as now their misunderstanding has been solved and now once again they became a very good friend so this is all about this story we saw that justice as well as truth is above every relation this is the moral of this story thank you